Oh my god, I fucking hate my haircut! Anyway, hi guys, uh, EIEIO posted to anecn.net slash contact asking me, Aah! at least I have hair, right? At least I'm not like, not having hair. Anyway, EIEIO posted to anecn.net slash contact asking me whether or not she is lying to her boyfriend when she plays online with her friend, um, and she says that it's her friend to her boyfriend. She's like, oh, this is just my friend. And the thing is, <laughs> the boyfriend thinks that she's a liar because of the fact that she actually once dated this friend. But she says it's not a lie because it's not that big of a deal for her and he technically is her friend and so she wants to know what do I think, is she actually a liar? And my opinion is that she... <laughs> That's where it comes to the screeching halt because it's like, it's not black and white guys, like, technically, technically she's right, but... I mean, if you look at the big picture and the moral standpoint and the, the more gray area, she's a little bit wong. She's a little bit wong. And the reason she's wong is because, and I'm saying wong because I think it's funny. Uh, the reason she's so wong is because <laughs> I'm not on drugs. I am just, I am just trying to be as cheerful as I can because I'm actually really, really depressed right now. And this will all change it somehow. Okay. Um, bah, wong. Okay. So she... She, she gave the impression she's she just a friend when actually they dated. And so he thinks, oh, there are no feelings between the two. They not, they, they cool with each other. They're not gonna make out and make babies. And so, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Okay. <laughs> and so the moral of the story is always tell people if you've dated somebody that you're hanging out with because it is important information, okay? Like, <laughs> okay, like, <laughs> um, here's the thing, okay? If you, like, like, that's like me, you know, going to, to hang out with an ex of mine and saying, oh, it's just a friend. No big deal. And then later on I say, oh, I dated them once upon a time. And oh, you know, we were once actually pretty heavy. <laughs> And there's a little bit residue from that. It's like the difference between dating some or hanging out with somebody who is in a relationship and hanging out with somebody who's desperate to be with you. So it's it's just it's just a very uncomfortable situation. And you should always be bluntly honest with your significant other if you want them to trust you. Because if you're not bluntly honest, then you leave room for them to doubt you. And so the moment they say, I can't trust you, you know exactly why. Because you left that room for doubt, which is why I'm so painfully honest, you know? That's why I tell people everything. Almost, almost everything. There's a little bit I keep private because I feel like it's not no one's business. Um, but like 99% of everything about me, I'm just have my turds. Okay, so you are a little bit wrong and that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world so long as you don't do that kind of thing in the future. So, say you're sorry, I hope you'll say you're sorry, and that you didn't mean anything bad by it, and that you love him, and that you're going to be with him for as long as you can be, maybe forever, that would be great. <laughs> um, yeah, and hopefully everything works out between you two. I hate my hair cut! I wish you didn't cut it like Justin Bieber, or... Hi, Sunny! How you doing? <laughs> oh my god, Sunny! Onision is so lame! Thanks for Rod fucking Ginger's haircut. I did not ask for that! I wanted light Yagami, goddammit! Didn't tell you guys that. I was actually going for light Yagami. Light Yagami would be like, down more and, and more, you know... I've talked too long. Bye.